Basically, having access to somebody's phone is the next best thing to having access to their mind. My name is Eva Gelpern, and I'm the Director of Cybersecurity at the Electronic Frontier Foundation. I run a team of uh, security researchers who are mostly concerned with protecting uh, free speech, privacy, uh, and innovation online. I did several years of research on APTs, and it turned out that one of my fellow researchers uh, was a serial rapist. And when he was outed, there was uh, an article that was an interview with one of his victims, and the journalist asked, what took you so long to come forward? And her reply was that she was scared. Uh, because he was a hacker, she was really worried that he would hack into her devices, that uh, he had threatened to compromise. I was horrified, and I never wanted anybody to feel that way again. <laughs> So I tweeted, if you were a woman who had been sexually assaulted by a hacker, that you could get in touch with me and I would provide a forensic analysis. It got something like 10,000 retweets and I still get contacted several times a day from people looking for help. People come to me whose children were kidnapped as part of a messy divorce. I had a woman come to me whose former partner had been spying on her through her internet-connected thermostat. I had a man come to me who had been outed as gay to his extremely conservative family. This is not just a you know, men spying on women issue. The people who are targeted by spouseware are often not the people that security companies think about when they think about who they want to protect because they're not the people with the money. These are not governments. These are not enterprises. These are often not even people who have control over their own finances. And so there's really nobody to speak for them. I don't feel that there are any legitimate uses for technology which is designed specifically to run covertly and to fool the end user into thinking that there is nothing wrong with their device and they're not being surveilled. There are a lot of things that we can do. Uh, first and foremost, I think it's really important for the AV industry to step up and start taking this threat seriously and start marking spouseware and stalkerware as malicious. There's a certain view that spying on your spouse is somehow okay. Not only is it unethical and immoral, but in many cases, depending on how you do it, it is very likely to be illegal. So if you are not concerned about spouseware, uh, I recommend trying to imagine a situation in which you might be a victim. And I would really like to see more people in our community uh, call people out when they catch people doing it. I've got a game plan and I'm going to fight.